Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for the 14th through the 28th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's see what we have for Scorpios. What's going on with Scorpios for the 14th or the 28th? Please show me what's going on with Scorpio. Energy that's around you guys. What's challenging you for the remainder of the month? Underlying issue. Recent past. Best possible outcome there. The energy that's coming in for you guys. How you're viewing the situation. The influence here. Oh, okay. Your hopes. Your fear. In the overall. Alright guys, so the energy that's around you right now is the Knight of Pentacles. You guys are strategizing about something. Um, I think that you're trying to figure out, you know, if it's if it's feasible to devote some more time to a certain situation, okay? Um, I, I think you guys are not sure if, um, if something can even progress is what I'm getting from you guys. Will it get off the ground is what I'm getting here, okay? But there's definitely something I feel like that you want to move forward with. But you're trying to like plan things out. Okay. Let's see what's challenging you guys here. You're conflicted. You're conflicted. I think this is um, your challenge is basically to get clear. To get clear on exactly what it is that you want to do. Okay. Because I feel you being kind of in and out here, um, going back and forth with you know what you should do. I don't feel you. I don't feel that you're confident about um, a certain situation and that you can go you know, forward. I'm, I'm thinking that you want to bring something from the past into the present and forward, but I think that you're not really clear or on how to get your point of view across. You're not really clear on if you can do it, is what I'm getting from you guys here. Let's see what was going on. Hmm, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's an Earth sign energy here um, in your reading. Uh, I'm thinking Taurus, Capricorn in energy. Um, somebody with you know strong Earth in their chart but in their like moon or rising or what have you okay but i feel that this person um maybe didn't give you a lot of time before maybe they didn't spend a lot of time with you and um they weren't all in i feel like there was something that started here that was not completed is what i'm getting from this Somebody that you feel like um, you guys didn't get to get to that level. You didn't get that get to that level. Good gracious, it's early, guys. Um, and it's, I think you want to you want to really see where it can go, or you want to complete it. There's something here. Um, let's see how you're looking at the situation. The Nine of Pentacles here. A lot of Earth again in your reading. Um, Virgo energy here. Hmm. A lot of you are confident around um, this situation, I feel, um, but you're single, okay? And I think, I don't think you're, you're all that happy being single is a thing, though. And what I mean by that is I feel like you guys are possibly looking for a relationship. Maybe there was somebody that you feel like owes you an apology. And the only way you guys can move forward is if you receive that apology because that'll clear up some confusion here. And that's the only way you can move forward. 
otherwise it's like mm, no I'm gonna be single I'm not devoting any time to that um, hmm. the underlying issue here is a seven of wands blocking things out standing in your own truth um, and this is like maybe you guys have not been able to get your 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 thoughts across to someone or um, get them to see your side of things and maybe that's what what the issue is here is the fact that you haven't gotten your point of view out there or hasn't been respected or recognized here because the five of wands is just that having conflict with somebody um, you know basically butting heads on things is what the five of wands is butting heads on things with people or either having that conflict within yourself not really knowing you know what action you should take not being firm in your decisions you know so um, maybe somebody's not listening to what you have to say or respecting your your viewpoints on things the best possible outcome here is that um, you guys can gain some some growth in this situation and be happy um, and, and maybe you know get it out there what it is that you actually believe in what you want and being heard here okay maybe there is a chance for you guys to reconnect but I think there's a need for you guys to kind of stand up for what you believe but first you have to be clear on what it is that you believe and what you want to do okay so what's coming in for you is a king of wands here maybe there's a fire sign energy Aries Leo Sagittarius that is significant to you guys that may have cancer in their chart earth in their chart as well but um, I'm feeling strong Leo energy here that um, may be a little stubborn but very controlled um, they like certain things they like for people to look a certain way they like to look a certain way this person is very energetic they like to travel um, they like to be social this individual okay so let's see what your influence is here the fact that you guys are not speaking you're not speaking Maybe you see this person as a little mysterious. Um, they haven't divulged a lot of things to you. Maybe their feelings they haven't divulged to you. Maybe there's been no transparency in this situation. Um, but I definitely get that you guys are probably not speaking at this time. A lot that you still don't know, that you want to know, that you want to say is what I'm getting here. Your hopes is that you can rebuild something here or build upon something here. Okay, there's lots that you're learning about yourself, building on yourself, working on yourself, um, and, I, and I get that. It's like you're, you're really trying to spend your time wisely here. You have lots and lots of earth energy um, in your reading. So what I'm getting from this is that, um, you know, there's some place that you really would like to spend your time and energy. There's someone that you would really like to spend your time with, okay? And I feel this is more like building on a connection here, okay? Your fear is the fool, is being foolish in this situation. Your fear is actually um, doing things that you would not normally do. You're afraid to step outside of your comfort zone is what I'm getting from this, okay? Your fear is the unknown, What's what, what you don't see. Yeah. Okay. So your overall outcome is a strength. I feel like you will find the strength to face whatever fears are holding you guys back. So you can have the happiness that you deserve. Um, if it's reuniting with this person, I feel like you definitely will. Um, you know, gain the momentum, gain the clarity to actually speak to this person if you if you desire. Um, and, and, and face it head on okay so you guys can reconnect here so let's pull a few clarifiers for you guys to see <clears throat> what this king of wands is about why is the king of wands here for Scorpio what does the king of wands want let's see what does the king of wands want 
the hermit. Hmm. Guess what the hermit does? Hmm. The hermit looks for the star. The hermit looks for its path, its destiny. The hermit looks for the love of their life. I feel like this person is definitely coming in for you. I definitely feel there is a Virgo Leo individual that is significant to you guys here. I definitely feel that. I don't think I'm going to pull anything else because the reading's already getting a little long. But a lot of earth energy here. Um, Leo's here. Um, maybe an Aries individual. Cancer. Between Aries and Leo, I feel. Cancer, Virgo, Taurus individual is strong. And you, you're reading here. Pisces is here as well, okay? Alright guys, so that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.